give us a story that was just wild that the people could tune into. Man, I never forget, bro. I never forget one day. I won't. I won't. I won't necessarily. I was getting. Um, I think I just got out of school, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I went to school. Hey, you got to take us through there. What, what age? What, what time was this? Yeah. You know? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. This is the wildest story of my whole childhood. But shit, I <laughs> say I probably was about. I probably about 13, 14 when this shit happened. So that then I just got out of school, man. You know what I'm saying? Went to bed. I was with my dad. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I was with my dad and the rest of his partners. You know, I came up around, like, mostly a lot of older niggas. But I ain't come around too many niggas my age. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the older niggas definitely was into what they were into. You know what I'm saying? And so that kind of grew me up quick. Like, the shit I, the shit I seen kind of grew me up quick type shit. You know what I'm saying? So he's sitting outside or whatever. You know, um, he talking to his homeboy and shit about... Somebody owns some money or some shit. But you know what I'm saying? It's a little young nigga, but the little young nigga called him talking hot. He like, yeah, I'm coming over there. I'm on my way over there talking to his homeboy and shit. Man, dog come over there, pull up, get out the car. They thinking everything, oh love, OG walk up on him. He said, Man, what's up? Boom, I'm talking about hit that nigga. By the time he finished hitting that nigga, bro, he had beat that nigga out of his clothes, bro. He was holding the nigga by his drawers like this, bro. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, man. The nigga got his cousin got out the car like, man, ain't please, man, he gonna beat that man naked in the middle of the street and blast him, bro. I lied to you not, bro. That shit, hey, bro. Some fun. I don't. I watch niggas get beat clean out all their clothes, bro, and run down the street naked, bro. I, I, I'm telling you, bro. So I was saying all type of shit. Would, would this be a young versus old type thing, or, or? man? I, man, it was just it was a. You posted Ben paid me my money and you trying to buck on me, bro. So I got you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? This this just how I think. But who was in the wrong? <laughs> bro, <laughs> for real, for real, it was like it was bro, cause like you know you owe that man some money, and then you know he if basically it was on some respect your elders type shit, bro. You had to owe the man some money, and then you call the man talking tough. But you go around there, you still now nah, young niggas had that energy, man. Like. Sometimes right. you might mean well, but you like, God damn, what's up, bro, nigga? Like, nah, you, you, you can't talk to certain OGs like that, man. Nigga, don't play that shit, bro. You know? So, just to clarify, young be old or old be young? Man, old got man, old got in that man. Hey, bro, I ain't bullshit. <laughs> the fuck so, out that man, bro. The OG that taught him a lesson. Yeah, yeah, OG taught him a lesson, man. He had his cousin, but him cousin won't buy shit neither, bro. I mean, so so where the clothes go? And you saying this? How you man, the clothes in the go? street, bro. He ripped the jeans off that man while he was beating them. <laughs> I ain't seen no, you know, them old niggas crazy strong, bro. I them old niggas, old niggas ripped the man pants off him, man. What y'all say this. after this? Like, like, did you see him again? Like, hell no, nah. <laughs> I ain't seen that man no more, bro. <laughs> I'm like, hell no, nah, bro. 